Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 28th, 2020. So yesterday, we had a nice little rally yesterday that um, kind of extended right into the end of the day. Those bulls are large and in charge, and they don't want to be bothered by anything negative in the market right now. They just want to go up. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, looking at these charts, it's kind of amazing um, what we are seeing here. We have we have a beautiful trend in play, and I'm going to ignore. Um, I, I did this yesterday as well. I'm going to ignore that um, one candle there because I really get a beautiful trend when I mark it through here, and you can see that trend is holding up very very well, and we're pushing up into this price resistance level of the chart now. We've struggled in this area for a while, but this morning we're getting a bullish move that is trying to power us through that level with a big gap up open this morning. You can see we're testing resistance levels up in here um, in that chart, and that's been one of those challenging areas for us to deal with. But with all this talk and hope of um, the country maybe restarting, um, uh, states starting to open things up um, there's a little bit of hope in the market and then also you know we hear words that Congress is going back to work and they're talking about another stimulus bill for the market so my goodness let's just print money and and just keep things going here and that seems to be what's inspiring the market right now we're, we we are completely ignoring um, the last couple of days here we're completely ignoring that oil continues to fall as a matter of fact oil fell 20 percent yesterday nobody cared um, we continue to hear about more and more bankruptcies we continue to hear about negative uh, growth rates on earnings nobody cares we continue to hear about historic unemployment nobody cares market just wants to go up and one of the cool things about being a technical and out, um, analyst is that all we really have to do is focus on the price now one of the things that you'll hear me say from time to time is I don't get it I don't get where all the buying is coming from where all this ex excitement is coming from but here's the cool thing I don't have to all I have to do is set aside my bias, focus on the price action, and trade the charts. Took some nice profits yesterday, holding some additional trades where I have some beautiful profits in. I'll talk about those in just a minute, but that's all I can do. I don't understand why we are doing what we're doing, but it really doesn't matter. The bulls are in charge, they wanna move higher, and they are doing that. Now, one of the things I wanna caution on is we are getting a bit extended here in this rally, and, and what I mean by that is we could easily see, at any point in time, we could see profit takers beginning to come in. So let's watch for that carefully, let's stay focused on the price action, and let's not just throw caution to the wind. But let's stay focused on the price action in these charts. So that being said, what do we have here for price action in the chart? Well, we have this range that we've been talking about here for a couple of weeks. And that range, we're trying to pop the top of that range this morning. We're going to gap up into that area, maybe pop above just slightly, as you can see. Right now, as I'm recording this, the Dow futures are up over 330 points. And as you can see, we're popping right up in here. We're trying to bust that resistance level in the chart let's keep in mind though that we do have uh, additional levels in here um, in this chart that we should pay attention to and respect so watch those areas closely as we start approaching those areas um, where we could be reaching just a short-term overbought condition now, if we take a look at the moving averages or the technicals here of the chart, you can see that we have crossed above our 50-day moving average. What's interesting is this rally has been so steep in its recovery. Notice that our 50-day moving average hasn't even had a chance to start to turn 
over. We're still diving in our 50 day moving average and it may continue to, to decline here for the next several days um, as um, this market rally continues to extend back up. But we did close above the 50 day moving average for the first time since, well, clear back here in February, we got back above the 50 day moving average. Now the test of the market is will be, can we hold it? Can it serve? as support that's yet to be seen but right now holding up here and i gotta give that up to the bulls the bulls are in control here pushing us back above the 50. let's take a look at the spy spy very similar situation breaking above its 50-day moving average on friday following through today or yesterday and now gapping up once again this morning so we're trying to blast through this resistance level in the chart this morning we'll have to see if we actually get follow through this morning or if we end up running into some profit takers after this big morning gap but we'll want to watch that closely as we continue to stretch this rally um and and stretch it hard um i have to say um pretty remarkable how the capacity for this market to really ignore um the true numbers that we're seeing out there but uh, that being said they are doing it and we want to continue to follow that trend as long as that trend continues so bulls are in control here in the spy pushing up here this morning looking at a gap up open we'll want to um, respect these resistance levels in the chart and just keep in mind we could move right on up in the into that 200 day moving average um, we'll have to wait and see if we can gain that much energy if we take a look at the cues the cues also extending itself higher we had a really nice successful test of the 50-day moving average last week we pushed down tested that 50 we're holding in here what i want you to notice is that the 50-day moving average here is still in decline it hasn't even had a chance to return to recover up and that's what i mean by we're really extending these moves because there's really not much bottom underneath these moves if we were to get something ugly going on we could really see a hard fall um, because there's not much floor underneath these levels we're uh, just defying gravity here pushing higher now one thing that happened in the queues yesterday is they didn't follow along with the bullishness of the diamonds and the spy had a little bit of negative reaction here yesterday morning reacting to this price resistance level in the chart now i will say this price resistance level that i have in here is really more of a range and if i go to a naked chart we can see that a little bit clearer as you can see i've marked it right in here across this high but please keep in mind that we could push this up right into here and we get actually a little bit better price resistance zone here in the chart right about there where we run into that price resistance level and we are gapping up into that area this morning we're going to run up there and test that this morning so keep an eye on that our trend is good here we've held our 50-day moving average everything is moving up it's remarkable that we've come all the way back up here um, and we're really being carried by some of the big techs um, a lot of stocks are very under, well, really underperforming, but our big techs are pushing us dramatically higher and we're staying up here. So it's kind of an interesting situation that we're dealing with and we'll just have to be focused on that price action. And remember, anytime we get that big gap up in the morning, particularly when we're pressing highs or pushing into resistance, we have to watch for the potential that it may bring in some profit takers. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had a great day yesterday finally breaking through that resistance level and we actually recovered our 2018 low. So we finally broke above there. We're still underneath our 50 day moving average at the end of the day but this morning we're looking at a gap up open here in um, IWM to push us back above that 50 day. So 
At the open here, all four of our indexes, major indexes, back above its 50-day. Now the question is, can we hold? Will we stay up there? Or are we getting a little bit extended and profit-taking will start to come in? I don't know. Let's just stay focused on that price action. Let's take a look at um, the VIX here. Now the VIX had a nice little decline yesterday and um, not a big surprise you know when we see um, the bulls um, showing so much energy to the upside and just a relentless push back up we're seeing that fear drop away so we failed through this little price resistance or support level in the chart you can see that that translates back a long ways so we dropped down below that and we're actually moving down here close to a 30 handle on the vix the next level uh, down that you can see is right down in here on that failure so we failed that 50-day moving average it was just a beautiful pattern here where we broke down rallied back up to test it failed that 50 so technically we're in pretty good shape here on the VIX but once again anytime we see a move like this where we extend down we expect that there's going to be a little bit of a shift a little bit of a push back up so keep that in mind as we continue to extend this lower that possibility of that push back up just to maintain the trend all right let's take a look at t2122 t2122 gives me the most concern here t2122 is almost pegged out up here at 100 showing that really extreme um, overbought condition this morning gapping up 300 points is going to peg us right up here we're going to be at those extreme levels and by the way if I pull this back guys there's been a, there was a time um, back here in 2019 where we actually stayed up in this range for a little while but make note that the majority of the time when we pop up into this level we see that pullback we see those profit takers come in now this may be different than what we've seen um, in the past there's no guarantee that we're going to stay the same but typically when we rally up into these levels we find those profit takers come in and we get that pullback so watch that closely and watch carefully for that be careful not to chase stocks well within their trend um, already well within their run to the upside with that fear of missing out because that's where you can catch those tops and have have those sellers come in so with that let's take a look let's take a look <clears throat> excuse me I apologize, I choked myself up there, I guess. So um, let's take a look at what's happening on our economic calendar today. We have a few things to make note of here this morning on the economic calendar. So as you can see, we've got international trading goods that occurs here at 8.30 this morning. Um, it's worth noting that FOMC me meeting begins today. Now the FOMC is largely expected to not make any adjustment to the interest rates but there is some hope out there that they will provide some clarity as to how long the low rates may continue or maybe the extent of their um, asset purchasing program and maybe provide a little bit of clarity um, there but we won't learn about that until tomorrow so just note that the fomc meeting is kicking off today international trading good is at 8 30 we have the s p core logic which can move us around from time to time but it's not one of those big movers and then consumer confidence of course is going to be an interesting number to pay attention to and the reason i think this might start becoming a bigger interest in number is with 26 million people unemployed i can't imagine their confidence um, is going to be growing and if consumer confidence diminishes that usually um, indicates that consumer spending diminishes which means a general uh, contraction um, of the economy so we we'll want to keep an eye on that um, and see where that number comes in today if it continues to decline could signal a little bit of problem ahead for the market so we'll want to watch that at 10 10 o'clock 
keep in mind that anything that you do today, um, we will be subject to, at, at the close of today, we'll be subject to that GDP number on um uh, Wednesday morning, we'll want to pay attention to that. So remember to plan forward for that a Monday morning number that will come out before we have any control over trading. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We have a big day of earnings today. Nearly 250 companies reporting. Um, lots of big numbers coming out. Now, a couple that have already reported, reported this morning, 3M has already reported this morning, and they show strong demand in their safety products, which um, makes a lot of sense You know, when you think about it. Their safety products for coronavirus, and we're perking up here. One thing I'd want to note or point out here, this is actually turning out to be a pretty good bullish chart where we've broken the downtrend, we've proved to hold support, and now we have actually confirmed some upside trend here in this chart, breaking through some resistance levels and challenging additional resistance levels in these charts. So watch this. If we get this rest or pullback in here, provides an opportunity maybe for some upside moves. So you might want to keep an eye on old 3M. These old stodgy companies that pay nice dividend yields can sometimes be a great place to be in crazy markets. Let's take a look. Um, ABB is also reporting this morning. Looks like it is getting a slight gap up this morning. Um, we have AMD reporting today. It's been up here challenging this resistance high. It's kind of a high risk uh, trade right now to try and jump in on AMD, but we're pushing these highs up here in the chart. Let's keep an eye on that. I'm not going to go through everything that's reporting this morning. There's just such a big list, but um, we might want to keep an eye on BP. BP will be reporting today. We have Caterpillar that is already reported today. And here's what's remarkable to me in this market. Caterpillar reported a 21% decrease in sales due to the coronavirus and removed its guidance. They're not going to guide forward. And as you can see, we're gapping higher this morning here on Caterpillar. So um, it really doesn't seem to matter right now, no matter what gets reported. Um, the bulls are ignoring anything bad and they're pushing higher. So Caterpillar is looking like it wants to gap up this morning. We have CNC reporting this morning. Looks like it's moving just slightly lower. GLW, a little Corning reporting this morning. Uh, can't tell if that's reported yet. Cummins is reporting this morning and gapping up here this morning. Cummins moving higher. We have uh, Ford. Ford will be reporting and looks like they're capping up. Production is down, sales are down, but stocks are moving higher. Um, Harley Davidson, <laughs> Harley Davidson gapping higher this morning. Um, we know sales of motorcycles are down, things are not good, but stocks moving higher. Keep an eye on stocks like Merck. This one would make sense if this one actually performed well. Merck being involved in the drug manufacturing during a pandemic, that would make sense. But look what's happening this morning. It's actually gapping lower this morning. So it's like, um, it reminds me of an old Seinfeld um, episode where it's opposite day. Um, everything kind of moving in a very strange pattern. Pfizer. Pfizer. I was in Pfizer. Closed a trade on Pfizer yesterday. I didn't want to hold through earnings. Had a nice little base hit there. Um, it is gapping this morning up. Uh, looking really good on Pfizer. Uh, PepsiCo. PepsiCo moving higher this morning on its report. How about Starbucks? Starbucks will be reporting today. Now it's moving up this morning. I can't tell you, I don't think that's an earnings report. I think that is just overall energy of the market pushing things up um, this morning. LUV Airlines. Airlines, let's see. Well, no report here. Well, it looks like it might be moving a little bit lower here, which makes maybe a little bit of sense. Um, UPS, UPS gapping down. 
And we have YUMC as the last one I'm going to report on this morning. Um, no report here, it looks like. We just have a wide bid ask spread. So kind of an interesting market to be trading right now where we're just kind of... Um, uh, putting our hands over our eyes, covering our ears, and pretending we don't see anything uh, but bullishness here in this market. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Um, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you click that bell icon so you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time. You guys are awesome. I truly truly appreciate it thank you thank you very very much hey guys let's take a look cgc now cgc was a trade um i was in yesterday i ended up closing this for a profit yesterday was looking at a quick trade in here and with so many earnings reports and things going on i just wanted to capture some gains so closing out some base hits um took some profits here on cgc but it looks like it's moving higher this morning watch this re if you're still holding this watch this resistance up here as we approach that resistance kind of extending out here i'd probably wait for the next entry in this on any kind of a rest or pullback and let's recognize the fact that we are pushing right into that down trend we're going to gap up above that this morning but you know that can also create those pullbacks so watch that careful how about um some um stocks like um cvs cvs looking good triggering an alert yesterday popping on through looking good i really like the way this chart is setting itself up looking pretty good any rest or pullback in here now sets up an opportunity there certainly was a great opportunity in this pullback but now we just need maybe a little bit of rest in here for that um, next opportunity you can see it's gapping up this morning with the rest of the market take a look at ctl ctl is uh, CenturyLink coming up out of a bottom here and as you can see holding some support trying to show some signs of bullishness keep an eye on that um i've mentioned ulta now ulta has terrible terrible options in it so if you're wanting to trade this on options, um, it's really not going to set up for that. But this continues to set up in this consolidating move and continues to look good. Um, might be something you want to keep an eye on. Other places that you can look are um, any place in the... Whoops in the casino range casinos doing very very well as they look to reopen here soon you can see um, pin national here looking good nice little wedge pattern perking up looking good um, win looking very good breaking through the resistance popping up and gapping higher this morning so win looking very good great place to look another place that i think that is starting to fire up a little bit would be in the financials if we take a look at xlf you can see xlf has this beautiful little trend going on here and yesterday had a really nice bounce pop up out of here and as you can see it's gapping a little bit higher this morning so let's keep an eye on some of those financials maybe Citibank Bank of America Goldman Sachs Morgan Stanley those might be a place where you could find some good potential trades so with that everyone I'm running a little bit long in this video I need to cut it off um, I want to uh, wish everyone a fantastic day um, watch that price section this morning we're gapping pretty high watch for that possibility that there could be some profit takers coming in but other than that stay with the trend the trend is your friend everyone have a great day and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning have a good one